Hello dear travelers, and finally we have the final unit of the villain trio for the first anniversary in Octopath Champions of the Continent, Titos. And Titos does true to his name as the master of power, he deals some insane amounts of damage and compared to Herminia he seems to be looking quite a bit better. So let's first take a look at his stats. So following the trend of the other Master of Units, his speed is kind of low, just like Herminia and Auguste. However, his physical attack stack is through the roof. Same with his physical defense, which is also quite high, making him a sturdy offensive DPS unit. So Titles has this weird mechanic called Intimidate. Enemies can get intimidated and he will gain extra effect. For his first passive, this means he will get a 20% physical attack up. He also has a 15% sword damage and crit damage up and some resistances. So Titles has, just like the other anniversary units, great 4 hit attacks to shield break. A very nice self buff which doubles down as a auto revive. A debuff to get the intimidate running. Another self buff to avoid attacks and also do a counter nuke which is insanely powerful. A 5 hit lightning attack which is insanely good. And then another normal nuke which is 20% more powerful if there is an intimidated target present. So his ultimate is again just a simple 500 hit sword nuke, however it deals 20% more damage if the target is intimidated. His accessory is called Crest of the Scarlet Wing Commander and it does provide the nice benefit of automatically inflicting intimidate on all enemies for 6 turns at the start of the battle, so you don't have to debuff them yourselves to get all the benefits. However, the best part is that it gets 120 physical attack up, which is probably the best we've seen so far, so great accessory. He is voiced by Rikia Koyama, and he has some pretty nice roles on his name, namely Stark from Bleach, which I love, great character. He also voices Haku Oro from the Utawara Mono series, which recently concluded. And of course it won't be complete if he doesn't voice Jojo, he voices William Sapelli from Jojo Part 1. So his strengths are that he is great at breaking like the other anniversary units. He deals high DPS because he probably has the highest physical attack stat in the game right now and he will still have it for quite some time. He has a 5 hit lightning which is great because there aren't that many lightning users. He has a self revive. He has an F8 with double down as a counter, which is also a nuke, so great powerful character right there. I want to thank you so much for watching, finally all the three videos are out, and if you did enjoy them please consider subscribing to the channel, I would greatly appreciate it. And for next time we're gonna look at some future units, so look forward to that, and with that I'm gonna say goodbye!